Oh, great. So looks like I'm gonna have to volunteer to be chased by the ghost because we got the plenty area with a smudge stick, but we also gotta get repel the ghost while it's chasing someone with a smudge stick. Oh, that's lovely. I guess that's my job since I have a little more experience with these things. Can you hear me? I hear you now. Okay, Jesus. I, I, I don't know if I muted my head something, but for a while I was talking. Like, I read all this shit out loud. Oh, uh, my, oh my god. Like, yeah, you have just been silent the entire time since you got back. Oh, man. I'm like, I was man, just you're doing, just like, giving me the silent treatment. I would, I like, when I came up to you when you're at the, the counter, like, I did the creepy-ass breathing and stuff, and I was, I was thinking you were hearing me the whole time. And then you were like, oh, you're just being a creep now. And it, like, fit in context. So here I was thinking that we were having a conversation. Oh, my god. Alright, grab the EMF and, um, and if you have everything, wait, do you have any slots? Yes, you do. I think I have one slot. Uh, alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to grab one of these cameras, then you're going to press F on top of one of these tripods, You're gonna grab the tripod, and then once we find the ghost room, you're going to set up the camera by pressing G, and and it'll and I'll set the camera up wherever you're facing. So once you find out what room it is, you just get yourself in a corner that'll have a good view of the entire room, and then press G to um, set the tripod up. Oh wait, you can't hold the EMF with the tripod. I forgot about that. The tripod's too big to be slotted. Um. Yeah, I guess just throw it down for now. Uh, what can we have you hold then? Did you already grab a smudge stick? Probably too no, early. I don't want to. I don't want to grab that yet. I guess grab a ghost writing book, and then when we find the room, you can set up the ghost writing book. Uh, this is one of those items that you have to press F wherever you set it up. Because if you press G, you'll just toss the book with it still closed. Huh, it's already tossing place. Where are you? Are you here? What's your name? Where are you? Are you close? Are you far? Where are you? Are you close? Are you far? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you friendly? Are you close? Where are you? If you could bring the EMF, I think I heard a door open up here, so if you can bring him in, do a sweep of all the doors up here. Where are you? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? How old are you? Where are you? I'm behind you. Are you here? Are you close? Did you not he hear that response? Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing if it's this room or this other room. Oh, gotcha. Oh. Okay, it's this room. Oh. So it's in the kids' room, by the looks of it. Well, I'm not picking up anything on EMF. It hasn't touched anything yet. Do 
You unfortunately have to kind of wait for activity to actually happen. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Am I really not pressing the right key? There we go. Then I forgot to grab what I wanted to grab. I'm going to look at my controls for a second because I forgot my, what my gro global chat is. Gotcha. Uh, a uh, gaming mouse. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You you have a thing coming up, don't you? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I found a bone. Now look at the map real quick. Look, come over here. Look at the activity. You see how it's spiked up to 10, but it's not hunted? That yeah. is a good indicator that it could be um, the EMF-5. I do want to verify that, but so we need to be, so what, you, if you're going to try to verify it, you're going to need to be up there and like scanning all the doors after it touches the door. But that's a good indication of EMF-5. Because usually the, the activity meter spikes up in um, reminiscent to the um, EMF, so... And it looks like we just ran okay. out of safe time. This clock over here tells us how safe we are before it starts hunt before yeah. it can hunt. Guess what? Now it can it's hunt. It's time. It turned on the light, surprisingly. Five. EMF five. All right, cool. You can just toss. You can toss that now. We no longer need it. All right, so I'm gonna go into my journal. So we get, we definitely got ghost writing, and we got EMF05. Now that lowers it down that it's only it's gonna be three possible ghosts. So let's look at the ghosts real quick. I didn't see the the, the EMF the ghost writing. I clicked ghost writing. I spirit box. Thank you. I'm oh, I'm okay. being a dumbass. All right, so actually it can be three things. So it can be spirit, wraith, or twins. It, it, we can test for wraith. We can actually test for wraith very easily. But it'll suck if it's wraith. How do we do that? Uh, I'll tell you here in a second. So spirit, we're going to need ghost writing for spirit. Um, I did set up the ghost writing book. Which room did you set it up in? Uh, the kids' room. Okay, we're gonna let's set what well, let's also set one up in the main room because it could just be it could also be in the main room. And um because turn the light on in there and it's also going into the other bedroom, so it could be that main room and it's not actually the bedroom. So we'll set another book up in there. Can but, you still hear me? Yeah. I can. I can't hear you anymore. You can't hear me anymore? Okay, I was talking to you and you weren't responding, so I wasn't sure. Okay, um, it could have been just an audio glitch. Uh, cause I, I asked you, I told you that I put the thing in the kids' room and you said something. Oh yeah, but oh, I didn't hear I'm what sorry. you said. I, I maybe my grip on the button slipped or something. I was telling you, I was telling you that you put a kid, book in the kids' room. Let's set one up in the main room where, like, where all the bedrooms are connected, since it okay, turned on the light in there. Ooh. I guess it's hunting. Toggle night vision. It probably ended the hunt since no one was in there. Yeah, we don't have any activity. It probably started a hunt and then it was like, oh, there's no one in here. And then it ended the hunt. I think they added that as a feature so that ghost is not 
mindlessly hunt anymore. All right. Anyway. Oh, okay. In your journal, um, we can. It might be a spirit with ghost writing. So a spirit can be temporarily stopped by burning smudge sticks near them. So this is gonna be good since we have a um, smudge stick challenge. Oh, okay. Wraith. Wraith never touched the ground. So this is how we're gonna test this. Because basically that means if um, we're gonna put salt down, and if we don't get any footprints with the salt, that means it's a wraith. Wraith also has a toxic reaction to salt. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means it gets aggressive if it hits salt, or if it gets more passive if it hits salt. Okay. And then it could be the twins. So, either twin can be angered and initiate an attack on their prey. That means there's twice the chance that it could initiate a, the ghost will initiate a hunt. There's not two models, as I understand it. It's still one model. So I guess only one twin attacks at the top at a time. But uh, their weakness, that which is just a weakness as in terms of evidence type, is that they'll interact with the environment at the same time. So that well, so that means if if one ghost one twin throws an object, the other ghost will also throw an object. So two objects will be thrown at one instance. So it can be very easy Copy to that. tell that it'll be a twins. So we need freezing temperatures. We need dots or ghost writing. Since that light's on, it's like so blaringly. <laughs> right. I think I can I'd... go check the, the book and reposition it. Or we have we have another book. We can position the we, we can position that book in the room. I'm going to Okay, cool. I'm going to turn off the light and I'm gonna to try to see it do a salt test to see if it reacts to salt. Sounds like a plan. Also, follow me real quick. Follow me real quick. Here's some um, open closets, so this is where we're gonna to have to hide. Take a closet, run in, quickly close the door. Why did you take a photo? Figure out how it works. Well, it did something, but it probably just tossed the salt container. A pentagram in the basement. Oh no. What's that mean? That's a cursed object. We can basically summon the ghost and, and trap it there so we can take a photo, and that, but the ghost will hunt immediately after it gets freed. Oh. But can I we guess. Try it? Well, I guess that's some way. That's one way I can do a smudge thing, and I can force it, and I can force it to be still long enough for me to take a picture of it. That could be something we can do. A door. There's yeah, I heard it. it. I'm watching the assault right now, though. It stepped in one of the salt, but I didn't hear any additional footsteps, so I don't know if the salt bugged out. But it might be a wraith. Shannon, do something. Shannon, step in the salt. It stepped in the salt twice, but has not left any footprints. Flashlight. 
flush the toilet, man. Well, at least it's polite. It's opening doors. I didn't hear you because I went downstairs. Uh, I'm an idiot. That's just me because I linked the uh, local chat to my uh, oh. local mess. Alright. Um, you said it said it's in the basement? Ugh. Yeah. Basically as far in the basement as you can go. Okay. So I'm glad these lockers are here. Alright. So if we want to do this, do you want to be here when, the, when we do this? Yeah, I want to snap a picture. Alright. So what you're going to do is once I light this, you're going to take a picture and then immediately run in this locker and close it and hide and pray. Me, I'm going to run all the way upstairs and try to survive with it chasing me. Because we're going to try to we're going to try to nail two challenges at once. We're going to nail the picture and then we're going to nail the smudge. Oh, I don't want to do this. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm just going up here to make sure my hiding spot's ready. with that camera as soon as he spawns in you take a picture and then run for the hiding spot on it all right ready Son of a gun, chase me, chase me. Wait, no, no. <laughs> Well, you at least got a very good picture of the ghost. I'm not, I won't lie.
gonna do is I'm gonna hover around here looking for freezing temperatures. Um, not freezing temperatures for dots, but I really think it's a wraith because it, it stepped in the salt twice without leaving footprints. So you can mark wraith down in your journal. I'm gonna give it a little bit just to make sure. Got dots. This confirms that is a wraith. Throw an object in my face once you have wraith confirmed. Out the candle too, so we are all set. Welcome back. I've got some jobs ready for you. Woo! Yay, 80 bucks. <laughs> 